A new saw display option has been introduced. You can turn it on and off under the display options. We've got the draw saw head positions. There's a few settings associated with it under display configuration. So these these uh, bottom two settings, we can draw the saw in the color of the toolpath if needed. We can also pick a color. By default, it will be drawn in white. It's drawn, uh, it represents the actual size of the saw you've got selected. So the width, um, it's the actual width of the disc selected and it shows the diameter. So this marker size doesn't affect it unlike the, the other markers. So the display option gives uh, some information graphically. It, it, it tells you which side the spindle is on or which side the tool holder is on. And it shows the direction of cut with this arrow. The grey section um, represents the diameter, the total size of the disc or saw. And the white section in the middle represents the portion of the disc that's inside the material. So you can see we've got collision avoidance on in this operation and you can see the actual cut has stopped short of colliding with this neighboring part. You can also see that cut past is selected so the, the cut comes past the end of the corner. Changing this set into center see the corner is aligned with the center of the disc and cut to so the cut is coming to the corner if I put cut past in 10 millimeters you can see it's come past by 10 millimeters so it makes it a lot easier to understand um, what is happening with a saw graphically when cutting out parts like this